and welcome to our video blog about the new uh, powerlifting squat bench rack. Um, I've got Kevin Strachan here, Head of Engineering and Design for Ketchstrength.com, just to talk about the uh, manufacturing of the, the new rack and the functionality of the new rack. So I'll pass it over to Kevin. Kevin. G'day, how's it all going? Um, we've produced this rack. It's uh, really designed for, for powerlifting clubs and, and studio gyms for that matter because it's so versatile, it'll do everything. Uh, but we've also made it with uh, transport in mind and uh, how easy it is to, to adjust and how easy it is to put together. Um, and of course we've incorporated all the, the, the late, latest uh, uh, safety aids and things that, uh, that we'd all like to have now. But um, uh, we've, uh, we wanted it to be simple. Um, and no tools required apart from the, the bolts holding it at the back here and we wanted it to be strong um, and I think we've achieved all that. I suppose the easiest way to do this is just to show you how it works. Um, we'll set it up for John to squat out of it right now. The, uh, the, the safety guards for, for the bench actually can be left in place uh, if you want to, but they can, they're easily adjusted as well. Alright, so if we want to uh, set it up as a bench now. Take the pins out, put them back in. This up like that. Uh, converting it uh, uh, from from the from the squat rack uh, to a uh, to a bench is pretty easy actually. Uh, uh, it's one person doing it. It's a very simple, very very simple process. Um, these, by the way, are uh, there is there's 50, 50 mil adjustment uh, between each one of those. So basically, once you've uh, there we go. There's, that's basically it. it's the rack in place. That's the bench in place. Um, for John, we know that uh, the, the, when we have three holes showing, they will actually have letters on them, uh, so everybody will be able to uh, easily know what they are, as these will have numbers on them. So, you know, it's going to be quite easy to be able to set up. But So we know for John that we actually have three holes showing here, so uh, for, uh, for the safety bench. Um, these holes are actually 30 millimetres apart, so it's pretty much, uh, we cover uh, just about everybody uh, on, on these. They're pretty strong. Um, it's made, it, they are made to actually catch the weight, um, but uh, anyway, uh, John will just show you how that works. So a nice clearance there, and basically as we all know, uh, we are uh, protecting the throat, um, and that works perfectly at that. There's plenty of heights, plenty of adjustments. Um, It'll go up quite a lot further than that, um, um, so we are, we are allowing to pick it up as well. Um, as I say, the maximum height is here. Um, so put, to put that into perspective, if John gets back down there again, um, uh, yeah, we've, we've, we've put in a fair bit of adjustability here. Um, Lift off. That's always something that we were worried about. What we've what we've done is that we've actually moved the bench back uh, a, a little bit here, so it's not it, it's it's actually pretty easy to lift it off. Um, so there's no real need to have anything underneath. Although if you know if you're worried about that, um, we can actually make a, a platform for that. But um, we just sort of didn't think it was actually necessary at this point. As you can see, it, 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 it breaks down for transport very, very easily and it can be stacked in, in, in all sorts of ways. We've just, of course, laid it out there as it is here, but um, there's all sorts of ways of doing it. And so uh, when you need to, to uh, travel with it, uh, which you know most uh, clubs have to do, uh, it, it's ideal. It doesn't take up too much space. <laughs> 